for people who have no idea what this is about, this Rosneft deal and the sanctions and what it would mean if they're lifted, please lay it out for us. Sure. Well, Rosneft is the state oil company for Russia. And under Putin, it has been acquiring more and more power and control over the oil industry. And it is now, I, you know, I believe, the world's largest oil entity in the world. Exxon Mobil is the world's largest, you know, privately held uh, 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 oil company in the world. And, you know, we're entering a period where it's harder and harder to find oil. And as I write in Climate Progress, you know, Exxon Mobil's prospects for finding you know, easy to find oil uh, in this market is, you know, were pretty dim uh, until this deal was struck between Tillerson and Putin, basically. And this deal would have created a, a, a $500 billion uh, a joint effort, you know, the biggest oil deal ever. It's, it's, you know, it's a $500 billion. We're talking half a trillion dollars. This is a staggering amount of money. It was a deal that was perhaps going to ensure the future of a stream of oil for uh, Exxon for, de you know, decades to come, even, of course, as the world needs to get off of oil. For Putin, you know, this is critical revenue um, and critical outside investment, because particularly now in this era of low oil prices, uh, that seriously hurts uh, Putin. So this was considered to be a game changer. Uh, Rachel Maddow said, you know, this was a deal that was considered it might train, change the uh, historical trajectory of Russia. Now, <clears throat> you know, Putin then invaded Crimea and, and, you know, interfered with Ukraine. As a result, the United States and, and most other civilized countries put in place sanctions. Those sanctions in 2014 killed this deal. And, you know, as I write in the piece, uh, you know, the question of— uh, we, we, the intelligence community now says that Russia interfered in the election on behalf of Putin. Uh, that through leaks, uh, uh, you know, through hacking uh, private email accounts and releasing them, drip, drip, drip. And also, uh, we have reason to believe they're one of the major uh, promoters, disseminators of fake news. So, uh, you know, one can understand the motivation. Uh, you know, some people said, hey, Putin has enough motivation just to, you know, uh, uh, cast doubt on the U.S. election. But $500 billion, that is a very big motivation to uh, mess up the U.S. election. So